Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update, and currently we have all U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. The Dow's off 142 points, about four tenths percent. NASDAQ is off 1% or 110 points, six tenths for the S&P. That's down 25 points. The E-mini Russell down 14 points or eight tenths percent. Spot volatilics is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. Over in Asia last night, it was a sea of green. The Shanghai was up 16 points. The Nikkei up, well, basically flat out there. The Hang Seng 40 points or about a quarter of a percent. Over in Europe this morning, DAX is trading down by 1%, 148 points. Just following along the uh, steps with the NASDAQ, You've got the FTSE off eight tenths, about 61 points there. Gold's up two bucks, silver's up three pennies, platinum's up 15 bucks. Uh, light sweet crude is off 38 cents. Natural gas is down eight pennies. Uh, the 30 year treasury is trading out at 124.28. That's off 20 ticks. The 10 year note down, uh, it's basically flat out there. It's trading out at 112.04. And the US dollar index, 103.66. It's up about seven pennies right now. What does all that mean? Jelly bean. Well, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We're going to go take a look at Stevie's white background versions of these. We take a look at the ES Mini. What do we see out here? Well, we see that price got back inside its profile and is uh, attempting to get up to its oscillator and change line. That's at the 3888-ish area out there. And that's what it is doing. If we take a look at the NQ, it's got a TD9 call bottom that completed yesterday. Price should go target that oscillator and change line. And that level is at about the 11150 area. If we take a look at the Dow Equity Future contract, just a consolidation with inside its current profile out here. It does have a Rhodes Mintum indicator top, but again, price is just consolidating. If we take a look at high-grade copper, TD9 count tops out here. Those That is cap price. Price here also consolidating with inside its daily profile support in the 375 area. Gold has got two different Rhodes Mintum indicator tops. Does two make it more of a top? Then one, it does not. It just has two. It tells us about strong resistance. Where is that resistance level? The key area here to be watching is going to be 1833.80. If we take a look at silver, it's also got Rhodes Mintum indicator tops. Price consolidated with inside its daily profile as well. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien, the morning market kickoff is up next. Have a happy and healthy new year. And Stevie will see you on Tuesday, 11 o'clock sharp. Take care, folks.